Welcome back. In today's video, we are going to be making a small oval shaped bowl. I'm going to be using this half inch filler cord and six millimeter braided macrame cord. I will put links to both of these in the description box below. So to get started, place one end of your braided cord into your needle. This is just a darning needle I got on Amazon, just plastic ones. A lot of times they come with um, crochet hook kits if you buy one. So cut it at an angle. Because we're going to make an oval, we are going to wrap this longer than we typically would. So I will go about this long and let me measure it. This is going to be about seven inches that I'm going to wrap. So just like the other ones, I'm going to start here at the end and just begin to wrap. Okay, now I am going to fold this in half about here and I'm going to continue wrapping. Okay, once it looks like this, go ahead and wrap it again. And now we are going to go into the center. Wrap that once. Now I'm going to go around just this part four times. Go into the center again. And do another four. Go into the center. Okay, let's wrap again. So now I'm gonna start to curve it around. Okay, so I'm actually gonna do three here. I'm gonna add my extra piece of cord that I just cut. Hold them against the center cord. Wrap it one time, because that was my fourth. Go into the center. It's in the center. Now I'm going to continue wrapping. Just pull that original one down some. Okay, now with hold on to these ones so that you can wrap these as well. Continue the four. Go into the center again. Continue wrapping. Okay. Okay. 
Okay, so I need to close this gap here. So I'm actually going to go through this one here. Squeeze it. And wrap. do it again here this is closed but because I want it to look the same I'll go through that again Okay, I'm going to wrap three times and add another piece of cord. And now I'm going to be going right here. I'm actually gonna cut these two. Okay. okay, going back under this one again. Okay, so now we are just gonna continue wrapping. I'm gonna go one more round because again, I don't want this to be a large basket. It's gonna be smaller. 
So I'm gonna go ahead and wrap it another time, one more round, and then I will meet you when I'm done. Okay, I have just completed four rounds, so I can count one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. So once you're on an even number like that all the way around, now I am going to start to lift up to the side. So again, I'm going to wrap four times. But now when I insert my needle, I am going to do this with this up at an angle. So you are going to hold it in place so that it does come up and then just continue wrapping all the way around the entire row just like you were before. Just make sure every time you are going back into the one below it that you keep it up. Okay, so I am coming close to ending this round and as you can see it has a nice shape to it already So as I continue each round, I am actually going to go directly over so each time you go in Just hold this so that it is firmly Above the previous round and that will help it go up like go straight up so that it doesn't go out to the side at all If you do want it to go out to the side Just keep it at an angle instead of directly over the previous round So I'm gonna do about two or three more rounds again because it's not gonna be that big because I don't know how much cord I'm gonna have so I'm gonna continue and see how far I get and then I will show you how big it ends up being Okay, I am actually going to finish here. So when I count from the center, I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven all around. So there's four at the bottom and three at the top. So because this is where it's going to end, and I'm gonna to try to make this as even as possible, I am going to cut this at an angle about there. I'll trim it again if I need to. We want to have it at an angle so that it kind of blends right in with that previous row. So I'm just going to continue wrapping and then we'll go over this quite a few times when we're done. Okay, so I am here and I am going to go under that second row again. I'm going to do it the whole time until the whole thing is wrapped. See if I can show you it this way. Just keep sliding it over. So it's covered. I'm 
Okay, I'm just gonna continue until I run out of the cord. I'm going to put a crochet hook through to pull that extra piece of cord back in. And then I am going to use my hook again to pull it underneath. And then I'm gonna do one more so that it's under here. Okay, and then you can just push that piece right in between and you won't really see it and it'll help keep it in place so i made this in literally like an hour so this was using really thick cord i'm gonna put a link to this thick half inch but i'm also gonna put a link for the six millimeter because this one here it is a lot easier to work with this one makes it go by a lot quicker but using the thick six millimeter with the 12 these two together was pretty tough on my hands um, but it does come together pretty quick but um, this one is a great option as well so you could use three millimeter single strand macrame cord and I will also put a link to this in my description box um, this is a basket that I made using it the only thing the only reason why I don't like using this as much is because it splits so if you're familiar with macrame cord if you use single strand after using it several times it ends up coming apart um, it's not horrible and you'd have to go really slow making sure being very mindful of keeping it nice and flat So this was my first one that I ever made so it's not bad But I just wanted to show you this as a second option instead of just using braided cord because I've been showing you all braided cord. I Hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching